Okay, so let's talk about the polymer shape. And we sometimes a polymer polymer we also call it Gaussian coil. And because Gaussian coil is a sort of the same meaning of polymer chain as a flexible coil. And the polymer size can be described by something known as end-to-end -end distance vector. Uh, we are using the symbol H with the vectors, but some others are using a different notation. And this is an example of figures from our text. And here, as you can see, they are using the symbol R to represent, this is, let's say this is a start, this is the end. This vector can be described as a small r, and that's an end-to-end -end distance vector r. Some people also use uh, r with a capital, and here in our cases, we are we want to use in our cases h as an end-to-end -end vector distance. Okay, so the the more the pictures of the how we can describe this polymer chain, as you know. Polymer chains are composed with a carbon and carbon bond. So this is a carbon, and this is a carbon, this is a carbon bond, and it consists of the carbon bond, and that's a very simplest example of polyethylene. And, and then if you have a branches, something uh, like uh, uh, CH3, that's a polypropylene, every other carbons. So situation can be uh, described by understanding the how this polymer backbone, which is I highlight in yellow here, is can be uh, has its own conformation. Uh, and this is a much more bigger view of how polymer chains do this is on, on natural, like a flexible coil like what they call the random walk model. And they can they can show up something looks like that. And, and this one eventually has so many bonds. Let's say this is about thousands of thousands of bonds. Each backbone is represented by this carbon and carbon bond. And then the, essentially from beginning, from the beginning here till the end, we can draw the vectors. And that's the essentially vector H, okay? And this is the most kind of the simplified uh, picture pictures of the vector that you can you can see it here. One thing to notice here is uh, it is composed with uh, bond vectors. So this one is trying to re really uh, in in first let's just say that this is a carbon and carbon bond, and you can think about that as a simplification. So this is a uh, L is uh, essentially carbon and carbon bond vector. And I am going to uh, simplify what we call that we're going to talk about later, freely jointed chain. And this one, this, at, uh, this is an L2 and L1. Each one is connected by this joint, this bond vectors. And this one is very uh, flexible. So there is, no, um, there is no constraint for what kind of bond vectors and each extra next, next step of where the bond should take its space, uh, and then you, you continue to do this uh, change in the, make its position of each bond vectors. And at the end, you can see that this is an end bond. So this is a polymer chain with N carbon and carbon bonds, right? And if you think about, for simplest example that we, we talked about before, CH2, CH2, this is a polyethylene, and this N is different. And here I want to, uh, I guess, I'll correct here. The meaning here is trying to just say the numbers, but what really mean is this is a degree of polymerization. And each one repeating unit here, shown as a bracket, there is a one carbon-carbon bond, there's another carbon-carbon bond. So therefore, the important relationship that you have to remember is uh, for polymer chain, for polyethylene shown up here, N is two times degree of polymerization. Right? So remember that this is a number of carbon-carbon bond, and DP is just number of repeating unit. And the, the size of wise, if, I, if you look at the size here, that's the carbon-carbon bond vector. As you remember, 
size of the carbon-carbon bond is about 1.54 angstroms. And that's the important size that we, we can give you as a reference point. So we want to know the size and then this size of the big H, okay, and then the vector distance is something that we want to know. As a very simple uh, snapshot, something that I want to say here is, as you can find out, if this is a random walk, I want to know average size or average vector of end-to-end -end vector distance, which is they can go positive and negative direction. Because of that, it's a random. There is the average of end-to-end -end vector is zero. So there is no size information that we can find out. So only thing that you can you have to do now is you have to multiply just to make its own magnitude, right? So and then you have to just do the square root on this, right? In a way, h uh, square uh, to the average and then to the square root. And this is what we call root mean square values, right? And this root mean square values has a really obvious size. And the one simple relationship that I'm going to uh, derive in, in the next round, uh, in the later in the, uh, this lecture, is end-to-end -end distance square uh, averages is n times L square for freely joined to chain. And this is a topic that will be discussed a lot. And so that means, uh, and then this is uh, n is number of carbon-carbon bonds, which is proportional to molecular weight of polymers, right? So in a way, the simple message that already is summarized here is whatever the size that we want to call up a size of polymer chain is proportional to square to the molecular weight. And that's the main take-home message for this random coil walk sections that we are going to discuss throughout.